Back to school season can be filled with stress and anxiety, especially for students who struggle with learning in the classroom. Math is a subject where many kids fall behind, and that's why our next guest is on a mission to help children better understand and use mathematics. We're joined now by the founder of Elephant Learning, Dr. Aditya Nagrath. Welcome, doctor. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So how prevalent is mathematics anxiety in our country? Well, almost half of first and second graders already report math anxiety and almost half of all Americans actually report math anxiety. I'm not surprised, I, I was one of those kids. I get that feeling, it is not a pleasant one. What was your own journey? What led you to launch Elephant Learning? Well, that's a great question. I've got a PhD in math and computer science from the University of Denver. And basically when my first child was on his way, what I learned was that four out of five students start kindergarten unprepared for the kindergarten curriculum. And what that meant was that they have a gap in understanding around the quantities. So. When kindergarten talks about counting to 10, mean, they mean, uh, can you slide over 10 things and stop on 10? But for more, most parents, including myself at the time, uh, counting to 10 would just be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so like, this gap over time gets bigger. And um, because of that, you know, the student doesn't understand the teacher and anxiety starts to form because it doesn't feel like I know this. And therefore, you decided to take a different approach. I understand that you teach math more as a language. Is that how it works? That's right. We teach mathematics as a language. It's uh, what they call conceptual mathematics. And the way I like to explain it to parents is like teaching the colors to their child. You have to show the child a lot of different red things and then the child infers that you're speaking about the color in a similar manner what we're doing is we're giving the student activities where they're going to exhibit the idea or the solution by solving the problem and then we're labeling it with the idea. So like five plus four, for example, it's like give me five things, give me four more things, how many things do I have? That makes a lot of sense. So how does it work to sign your children up for this? Pretty simple. If you go to elephantlearning.com, you go ahead and put your email address in and you'll go through the application process. And after that, you can download an app and have the student use it on their phone or tablet. So students are going to be using this at home. How do you support parents throughout the process? I know that you offer results counseling. You basically coach the parents. That's right. So we have coaching programs for both the parent and student because a lot of parents are also having math anxiety. We don't want the parent blowing up while they're trying to help the student. And mm -hmm. so we also introduce coaches, but our dashboards have reports. It has teacher training and it has activities that you can do with the student outside of the system um, should you want to get more involved. What kind of results are you seeing? Well, on average, children in our system learn about a year and a half math over the course of 10 weeks when they use it just 30 minutes per week. We cover from counting through algebra, and so there's plenty of room for children to grow. So academic success, which leads to success in so many other arenas. Yeah, it, mathematics is truly the basis of STEM. So if you want right. to get into science or technology, you got to have that math basis. And you got to start early. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you'd like more information, you can visit elephantlearning.com. Daytime will be right back.